Hi Aquarius and welcome to your reading. We are doing what do they really want to say? What really needs to be said in this connection? Yes, let's jump in. Let's see what your higher self, the universe, spirit, spirit, guys, the higher perspective. What do they want to bring to our attention about your connection with this person right now? Oh, pop. We've got time is up. No second chance. No revisiting. There's something better waiting. Uh-oh. Ow. Okay. Okay. No second chances. Something better is waiting. Hmm. Let's pull their energy and your energy. Just know these energies can be reversed. Take it however it resonates for you. Sometimes everybody's screaming, you read my energy, not theirs. <laughs> Sorry. Take it however it resonates for you. Smoke Aquarius. Okay, guys. Let's do their energy first. Let's see if I can tap their energy. Pop. Ooh, we got somebody that is just not paying attention. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. In a world to their self. Yes, they are a lot of noise and stuff going on, but they refuse to come out of meditation. Let's put it that way. And then your energy is, ooh, self-expression. Mm -hmm. Freedom, self-expression, a lot of confidence here. Mm. Aquarius, very unique. I love this one on y'all. Yeah, mm, very Aquarian of I don't follow the crowd. We've got somebody over here for real. A lot of times that is about the need to meditate and not allow outer stuff to influence you, to disquiet you. But I'm picking it up in like a shadow energy of somebody is just will not wake up. Mm -mm. They're in la-la land and they only want to hear what they want to hear. Hmm. And they refuse to accept anything else than what they want to hear, what they're wanting. Okay. Let's pull the tarot. Let's pull the tarot. Let's come in on that first person. 17, the star card. They're holding out hope for the future for real. In a major way, too, because it's major arcana. They're willing to work on it. Yes, they are. <laughs> but they're also um, not willing to let go of the past. I'm picking the shadow up on that Eight of Cups. They're not really evaluating what's important in the here and now. They, they're they wanting the past. The past. They don't want to let go of the past. What else? Um... Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. They're just charging forward, uh, not hearing hasty actions, triggered reactions and stuff. And like I said, uh, Gemini energy is about communications, guys, but it's also about not being able to communicate. You just talk, 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 and won't let hear, not hearing what someone else is saying to you. Because I'm definitely, we're definitely, I'm picking up shadows on all of this. Coming in on your energy over here, we've got Libra. <laughs> oh, justice. Justice. Final verdict. Yes. Libra energy is about making a decision. The decisions, uh, uh, you know, a final decision. Uh, and regaining our balance. Mm -hmm. What else is coming out? King of Swords. Aquarius, you're coming out. Yes, you are. I've done, I've done, told you how many times. <laughs> Look at all the paper flying. Ow. So, yeah. Uh, we've made a definite decision and we're fixed on that final verdict. Uh-huh. See, what else? And we're moving on. Full card. Mm-hmm. Uh, moving to the beat of our own drum. <laughs> yes, we are going to the beat of our own drum. Mm-hmm. And it can't be swayed off of... Our, our decision, our verdict, it was final. And I, like I said, I really feel like that was, yeah, time's up. I'm not, I'm not investing any more of my time and energy on someone that cannot hear what I'm saying and, and tries, you know, as much as I hate saying this, it's, it's, you know, it's stepping over somebody's boundary, it's pushing, crossing the line when someone says no and the other person doesn't hear it. 
Yeah, because they in their wish fulfillment. Uh huh. What's up under it? Three Cups. Ooh, and temperance, temperance, three cups, energy. Take that as you will, guys. Um, sometimes it can represent there's uh, overindulgence, uh, too much socializing, too much partying, too much celebration, <laughs> things like that. But it can also indicate that there were uh, interferences, outside interferences, whether it be uh, somebody was playing around, constantly talking to other people, or putting just you know, putting fun before priority. Then the Eight of Wands. Uh-huh. Eight of Wands is momentum. The momentum of things. What's up under it? The Ten of Pentacles. We were shooting for long term with this person, but yeah. Didn't, didn't quite work out. Mm -hmm. Faith card, a hair font. We were wanting long distance. Uh, long term uh, commitment. Wanting to work through things, but the momentum of how things the temp of gro how things were growing, the temperance in this it was just yeah, it was just not happening. Because mm -mm. this person's uh, desires were more in line with the three of cups, while we were being patient, hoping it would work out long term. But yeah. No faith in it. And we self-restricted for a while, too, on that one. Held ourselves back. Death card in that holding ourselves back in that patience. Let's be patient. Let's hold out hope. That kind of thing really killed, I hate saying it, brought the death about uh, in the connection and our willingness to continue in the connection. Mm. Okay. But, like I said, this person just will not hear it. They keep hoping, hoping, hoping. I can do something to change your mind. <laughs> Let's pull love situations, guys. Let's come in on this person. Let's see a little bit about this person. Separation, withdrawal, disconnect, test of love, relationship, breakdown. Mm -hmm. One more out on them. Knowing the unknowable, unconventional lifestyle, exotic and mysterious, unconventional, think three of cups, you know, they think other things were important for them. They weren't too grounded in realistic or in alignment. Let's put it that way. Sounds better that way, in alignment with our goals, our, uh, what we were aiming for. Let's come in on the second person's energy. A vacation. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> break time off and string along mm -hmm. giving false hope selfish intentions now i think i think over here this person does feel like they were they were constantly being strung along but they're also it's like no 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 time's up out i'm not playing around i'm not going to feed into this uh, we may be in an absolute, I'm not responding, going to talk to you, because not wanting to give false hope. Center energy. Cursed. String of bad, bad relationship. Karmic cycle in the evil eye. There's one more coming out with it. Passion. Lustful desires. Sexual chemistry craving you. We might have had, I mean, that might have been the only good thing about the connection that we would come away with. <laughs> but I don't think, uh, if we're, especially if we're over here, we're not wanting to think about that. Mm -mm. Yeah. But, that part was probably good, but the rest of it outside the bedroom, uh, we weren't in sync with each other. Mm -mm. We're using Diane Yaris, her uh, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Speak as One. Let's see what's coming out when it comes to the higher perspective and our higher selves on this connection. Running and chasing is confusing, burdensome, and non-productive. Let's not do it. What else? This was different. It was special and sacred. How did we do? How did we do? <laughs> do. Yes, pass. And I cannot change you. I cannot make you into anything you aren't. And I cannot make you do anything you are not ready for. Maybe neither of us was ready. Mm. Bottom of the deck, what does it say? My heart 
has ached for you so many times, but after the ring, there is always the rainbow. Let's take it. Because, guys, that is already looking for the blessing. Mm -hmm. Our next deck, we're still using one of Diane's, but I want to take a minute, guys, because uh, one of our tribe members um, asked me about uh, the deck. Uh, Diane created two sides of the decks, the feminine masculine, but she's got masculine on the white side, on the white cards. I always, for whatever reason, guys, I pick it up as reversed of what she created it for. If you got the deck, don't let me confuse you. I just read it the way I do. I sense it the way I do. I sense feminine energy on this side, passive energy on this side of the deck. So, I just wanted to point that out to y'all. I am going to be using it over here on the first person, regardless of gender or anything else. <laughs> Let's get the first message. I realize I was selfish. I feel ashamed of that. Let's get a response, if we can, from over here. Because, like I said, I got a feeling we're just not into, but I'm not even going to talk to them. There are times when I feel stuck in this energy, then I pull myself out, but then find myself right back in. Your absence is heartbreaking. Like I said, we did have, there was some good stuff, guys. It's that passion that would come out between us, but it feels cursed, cursed to be feel, feeling the attraction towards them. Let's come back for a response from the first person. I feel heartbroken. Don't think I don't care. I do. I just feel stuck right now. Let's go back for another response. I needed to make a healthy boundary. I wasn't trying to hurt you. Let's come back over here. Ooh, that was quick. That flew out on me, guys. Please have patience. It may not seem so, but I'm getting it slowly, but I am. Let's come back for a response. Doing something is better than doing nothing at all. The silence hurts. Silence hurts. I'm being told to go one more. One more over here on this person. Second person. One more. I sometimes regret having told you how I feel about you. I should have hidden my feelings from you. Ow. Okay. Guys, let's go ahead and get you a lover's oracle. And see what will come out for you. Pop, that was quick. Let's go one. There it goes. That one's not it. It's that one. Okay. What was that first one? Soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Ow. And y'all know I'm taking it as literal of you've not been with your soulmate yet. <laughs> not in this one. Uh -uh. But if you, yeah, don't give up on love. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. And then this one. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Ooh, especially on the center energy of where we got that passion. That, because like, I mean, that, that was a heavy. But the cursed card coming right before it, come in, coming out with it, so... Examine, examine the truth. What keeps, what keeps it coming back to your mind? That part of the connection coming back to your mind. So yeah, hope it was helpful, Aquarius. Sending y'all love and light. Bless be.